Welcome to Module 3 of the What Works Clearinghouse WWC, Group Design Standards Training. In this module, we will discuss the WWC's Baseline Equivalence Standard. On the slides, some words are underlined and in bold. Definitions for these terms are in the glossary, which is available on the WWC website, whatworks.ed.gov. To receive a certificate of completion for viewing these training modules, you must view the videos on the WWC website. If you haven't already done so, please view the introduction video before viewing this module. The introduction reviews important background information about this training and describes accompanying resources. You can access all the resources mentioned in this module through the WWC website, whatworks.ed.gov. The WWC uses the baseline equivalent standard to determine whether the intervention and comparison groups in a study were similar before the start of an intervention. This is important because establishing equivalence between the two groups at baseline gives us more confidence that any differences in measured outcomes between the two groups were caused by the intervention. The WWC applies the equivalence standard to randomized control trials, RCTs, that have high attrition or compromised random assignment, and those that use quasi-experimental designs, QEDs. After completing this module, you will be able to discuss how the WWC defines baseline equivalence as well as demonstrate when and how to apply the WWC's equivalence standard. We will also cover how the WWC determines the characteristics that it uses to assess baseline equivalence. Once again, the Group Design Standards Framework will inform our discussion of the baseline equivalence standard. Upon determining that a study is an RCT with high attrition or a QED, the WWC assesses baseline equivalence to determine whether the groups in the analytic sample were similar before the intervention.